I was digging through some files and I found some old videos and pictures of inventions that I created in the past. This was about 2006 to 2012. This first one is a kitty cat arcade. All of the functionality is packed into a single Atmel 328P chip. The music is driven by the main loop. Control logic uses background interrupts to minimize CPU. It uses capacitance sensing for proximity of objects and an LED with photocell alignment for measuring disruption. It turned out pretty well, but the cat never really took to it, so I didn't bother doing anything with it beyond that. Next I have this automated indoor aquaponics experiment, which lasted about five years. Here I'm demonstrating this mylar sheet, which goes down when the sun goes down and goes up when the sun comes up. This is to maximize the LEDs used for artificial lighting. The LEDs were at specific nanometer frequencies to emulate spring and summer. The watering system used a pump to fill a reservoir, which would then trickle down. It had what I called an LG agitator, which was a cocktail toothpick sword made of plastic that rotated on a motor, which cleared out all the algae that would sometimes block up the trickle hole. Here's an automated fish feeder using pond pellets that was used with the aquaponics. This was kind of a wacky idea using a light reflecting back to attract fruit flies. It used computer fans to channel the fruit flies down and fling them into the water for the fish to eat them. There was another fly killing machine in there which was just a bug zapper modified from a Harbor Freight fly swatter. Next I have this silly Whopper candy shooter, which used butane. It was for destroying gingerbread houses, but it was pretty overpowered so I ended up disassembling it later on. Here's my old CNC setup for milling. I'm milling some acrylic in this shot. This was using a gecko controller, which I later more or less bypassed. It's also using Linux CNC, which I highly recommend over Mach 3, but that's just my preference because I'm used to using Linux. This is an incubator that filters the air coming in and modulates temperature. I used it for primarily making tempeh, beer, yeast, soda, and a few other things over the years. These durations were sometimes up to a month, so it had an alarm system to notify when the incubation was complete. I always kind of wanted to put a microscope up to it to watch the mycelia growth from tempeh. I might do that in the future. This was a simple radio transmitter which controlled an outlet that was powering the cable modem when I was in West Virginia. The line was so unreliable that I had to periodically reset it, so I ended up making this controller which would just monitor whether the internet was working and then reset the modem automatically if it wasn't. Here's an automated rabbit feeder for when we were on vacation or leaving the house, as well as an automated cat feeder. This was a little control system for filling up my filtered water cooler. It was plumbed directly into the wall and then used a hydraulic solenoid to fill it. The biggest challenge with this was reliably measuring the water level. I tried a few different methods, from capacitance to floating styrofoam to hit a switch. There seemed to always be some mechanical breakdown here and there though, or alignment issues, so I always had a safety in the software so that it would only fill up to a certain number of seconds. I haven't used that system in a long time. This is a kitchen sink controller, which basically just allows you to turn the sink on and off using your knee. I used this a lot for a few years, but I was too lazy to install it in any other places and I rented for a few years afterward, so I didn't want to do any modifications. This is kind of a silly one. This is a poop vacuum for my rabbits. I would collect their poop with it to fertilize plants. Rabbit poop is really good fertilizer because you don't need to compost it first. This next one is a helmet for growing hair. It uh, massages using pager motors and some silicone caulk as a pad and some marker caps as the housing, putting those two components together. It would alternate the different regions that it would massage. And that's actually the picture that's on my channel, me wearing this helmet. I never really used it long enough to determine whether it worked or not. It was just kind of a silly idea I was trying out. This is a USB hub that I wired into my car at one point using an aftermarket panel. It was good for powering GPS and phone and other things all at once. This is a simple motion sensor light which was made out of a lawn ornament that had a hole in it so I filled its guts with some electronics to do motion detection. For some reason I was making a lot of these things for uh, a while while I was in West Virginia. This next one is another one made out of an empty candy box. There were definitely some years I stopped inventing random things, but I began again more recently after I finished my workshop. My latest project is actually a coop automation controller. I have a series of videos, some of which I've already released, and a few more that need to be published to wrap up the project. I just haven't quite finished the electronics and programming yet. If you enjoyed this list of random inventions, please like and subscribe, and I'll be sure to release some more in the future. Thanks for watching.